Hello, Leo. Welcome to Blunt Saji. This is Robin, and as you guessed it, I'm a Blunt Saji. Today we're going to do your general love reading, you versus them, for the last week of June 2021. However, as always, keep in mind, tarot is timeless. So whenever you're guided to see this video, it is for the week that you see it. So, let's get into it, Leo. Let's see what your person's thinking about you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, but those who make it here, I hope it does with you. So let's find out what your person's thinking about you, Leo. And we start off nicely here. Oh, sorry. With the Knight of Cups. So how is Leo's person feeling about them? Show us the cards we need to see, please. How is Leo's person feeling about them? So the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. Now, Leo's person, what are their intentions for Leo, please? What is Leo's person's intentions towards them? Judgment. The world, okay. Two major arcona, right, with their intention. One more card, please, for Leo's person. What are their intentions towards Leo? Card flipped. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, okay. And what are their actions going to be in the near future? What is Leo's person's actions going to be in the near future? Show us the cards we need to see, their actions in the near future. There are the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Show us, oh, thank you, there it is. The Fool. And their overall energy is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so Leo, let's get into you. So show us the cards for Leo's feelings towards their person, the person they came to this video for. Show us the cards we need to see for Leo's feelings. The Page of Cups. Well, the King of Cups. Okay. Show us one more card for Leo's feelings towards their person. Okay. The Nine of Swords. What are Leo's intentions towards this person? What are Leo's intentions? <laughs> the Five of Wands. You both got that under intentions. So you're kind of mirroring each other there. So what are Leo's intentions? The Ace of Wands. And Judgment. Are you ever mirroring each other under intentions, Leo? That's incredible. So let's see your actions in the near future. What are Leo's actions in the near future? Show us the cards we need to see. What is Leo going to do? What action are they going to take? Whoa, that's way too many cards. Sorry, guys. What actions is Leo going to take? Show us the cards we need to see. Three or four, no more. Please and thank you. Show us the cards we need to see. What actions are Leo, is Leo going to take in the near future? Okay. Show us the cards we need to see. Okay. So the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, <laughs> and the Fool again. And the Six of Cups is your overall energy, Leo. So let's get into it. So for their feelings towards you, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Moon. So they would like to be your knight in shining armor. They would like to rush in and give you all of their attention and have victory and love with you because they see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as stability. They see you long-term. They see you as intelligent, as beautiful, as a mother figure, as nurturing, as someone that could be, they could start a family with. However, they're in their emotions about you. So they are caught up in their, in their emotions Maybe they feel that you're mysterious. Maybe you weren't fully open with them, but they're in their emotions about you, but they want to rush in. They want to be your knight of cups. They want to come and give you their love, baby. Okay, Leo. Their intentions <laughs> are the five of wands, the judgment, and the world. So you definitely had a fight. So this is a person from your past. Absolutely. You guys had a fight. They would like to apologize. So they've done some soul searching. They've reviewed it. They've thought about it. They've probably analyzed it a million times in their head. They want a new cycle with you. They want the world with you. They want a new start. And they want to offer their apologies over whatever was said or whatever happened in your fight. And funny enough, you want to do the same thing. 
So you would like to apologize <laughs> to them and to have a nice, passionate new beginning. Um, so clearly there was a fight. Words were said, things were done, and you both feel bad and you both want to apologize. You want to walk away from that. And you've been manifesting and waiting for this person to contact you because you want to take that leap of faith with the new beginning. You want the reunion with them. You want to give them your cup of love and you want a new start. Okay, Leo, pretty straightforward. So let's find out what message and advice the Oracle cards have for you. So Romance Oracle cards, what do we got for Leo? For the last week of June for this reunion that looks like it's going to happen because their overall energy is fast communication to you. So before we get the outcome though, again, remember there's always free will, but hey, let's see what the cards are going to say and what advice do the romance oracles have for Leo? Show me the cards we need to see, please. What message do they need to hear? Show us the cards that we need to see. One or two cards, please. Romance oracles, give us our cards we need to see for Leo. They're pretty stubborn. They were stubborn earlier today as well in your reading here. Okay, let's okay, show us the cards we need to see, please. Oh, they're flipped. Where'd it go? deception so someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship hmm so make sure that you're listening and you're looking for clues to make sure that there's no lies so before we get to the outcome here leo so make sure when then when they come back in with this apology that they're being truthful to you so let's get some advice before we get the outcome so what is the advice for leo to help them through this fight that they had with someone that they am very much in love with. Show us the cards we need to see. So the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Rods. Oh, there's a card flipped there. I missed that. Where is it? And the Queen of Cups. So let go of the burden. So the Eight of Swords... The Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Whatever this fight was about, the cards are telling you to get out of your head and to let it go. Remove that burden. Be in control of your emotions. Be willing to listen. Be in charge. And really express yourself clearly to avoid any misunderstandings and to ensure that, that you fully understand what happened and you guys can learn and grow from that in the future. So I don't like that deception, so let's just get another romance article or oracle and see if we can get a better one or at least clarity on what that deception is. I might pull a few tarot's on it to see if we can find out. So before we do that, do we have any other romance oracle advice? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so let's just get some clarity on this deception. So someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So they were, okay, <laughs> okay. So they see you as wish fulfillment. I, this is the other person. But they don't want to tell you. So they kind of walked away. They kind of made you feel like they had choices. Whatever your fight was, they were not honest with you about how they feel about you. They're very, very passionate about you. Here's the Knight of Wands to go with that. You're their wish fulfillment, but they didn't let you know that. So that's what that deception is. That feels a little bit better. Makes more sense to go with the cards than just randomly showing up like that. <laughs> okay, Leo. Let's find out what the outcome is going to be. Show us the cards we need to see. What is the outcome in the near future going to be between Leo and this love interest that they had a fight with? So the Ace of Cups. The Sun. One more card for the outcome for Leo. Maybe we don't even need another card. Oh, there it is. And the Hanged Man. So you guys will both have enlightenment. You and your person, Ace of Cups, the Sun, and the Hanged Man. So you've both realized that you are your wish fulfillment. You are the happiness. You are the happy ending. And there's going to be a new beginning for the two of you. You'll come together to create the love that you know that you deserve. So you'll have that Ace of Cups, that new beginning. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you guys work that out and get your new start. Until next time.